Super Heterodyne FM Receiver It is a receiver which is used for receiving FM signals that is frequency modulated signals. This receiver has got the name Super Heterodyne Receiver because it handles frequencies above the audio frequency range known as supersonic frequencies and in this mixer there is a process occurs which is known as frequency mixing and this frequency mixing is also known as heterodyning heterodyning so by combining these two words super and heterodyning this receiver has got the name super heterodyne fm receiver it handles frequencies above audio frequency range that is supersonic frequencies and the process heterodyning occurs in the mixer so by combining these two the receiver is known as super heterodyne fm receiver so now if we look into the block diagram of the receiver we can see that up to this block that is up to the if amplifier the block diagram is similar to that of the super heterodyne am receiver which we have already studied so you can use the same explanations up to this block for all the block rf amplifier mixer local oscillator and if amplifier we can use the same explanation as that we have used in the super heterodyne am receiver so let me just explain it again so first the rf antenna radio frequency antenna collects the electromagnetic signals sent through the space and the antenna gives the signal to the rf amplifier radio frequency amplifier is a voltage amplifier it amplifies the signal this amplifier also can select the required frequency signals so if it have to select a certain range of frequencies it definitely has to be tuned to that particular frequency so here tuning is achieved by means of capacitors that is capacitive tuning is used the output of the rf amplifier is sent to the mixer let the signals sent from the rf amplifier to the mixer have a frequency fs the mixer receives another input from a local oscillator the local oscillator generates sinusoidal waves having a frequency f0 so now the mixer receives two input signals one is having a frequency fs that is our message signal information signal and another one is a sinusoidal signal having a frequency f0 and the mixer can generate signals having frequencies which are either sum or difference of the frequencies inputted to it the input frequencies to the mixer are f0 and fs the mixer is capable of generating signals which are having frequencies either f0 plus fs or f0 minus fs so here we will choose the difference frequency component that is f0 minus fs as our intermediate frequency so here intermediate frequency is equal to f0 minus fs and this intermediate frequency will always be a constant and in case of an fm receiver the intermediate frequency equals 10.7 megahertz it should always be a constant now so we have said that the intermediate frequency should be a constant and intermediate frequency equals f0 minus fs local oscillator frequency minus the signal frequency so if there is any change or any variation in the frequency of the received signal the intermediate frequency will change so we have to keep the intermediate frequency constant 
For that, we have to change the frequency of the local oscillator F0 in accordance with change in Fs so that IF will remain a constant. So we have to change local oscillator frequency F0. So frequency of local oscillator can be changed by tuning the local oscillator. So the output of the amplitude limiter which is a constant amplitude signal is fed to the discriminator. It is also known as demodulator. The discriminator is also known as demodulator and it this block performs the demodulation function. So actually we are sending the modulated carrier wave through the space and if the destination has to properly understand that signal it has to be demodulated that is we have to extract the original information from the modulated signal that process is known as demodulation so this block performs demodulation function and extracts the original information or the modulating signal from the modulated carrier wave and that information signal is then fed to the power amplifier the power amplifier amplifies or increases the power level of the signal and the output of the power amplifier is then fed to the loudspeaker. So we all know the function of a loudspeaker. The loudspeaker converts the electrical signals fed to it into audio signals or sound signals so that the user can properly understand or interpret the signal. So this is all about the working of a super heterodyne FM receiver.